Dear art world, you are everything people suspect you of. Pretentious, a gap filler, mean-spirited, expensive and a jealous profession. You believe yourself to be as relevant as football matches, car rallies and pop concerts. You are none of these because you depend upon a patronage that wants you all to itself. It picks and vets its members. Of course, you can be poor and live in the gutter. Indigenous artists love for it. Graffiti too. And the occasional alcoholic or pedophile is writ large. It is all good entertainment. Certain characteristics are noted that add up to crazy makers. I went to art college when hands-on artwork meant something. Postmodernism was reinventing modernism prominent since the Great War. Now some rules needed to be laid down. Overly complicated rules written in an obtuse language that required an education. Neoliberalism dictated everything was up for sale, including artists as long as they could be seen as part of the new system. Education was good as it cost money. Good looks and youth could be bought. Potential celebrity status was saleable. Feminism could have a place as they had their money stars. Homosexuality was an item on the stock market for HIV AIDS treatments. Indigenous artists were highly collectible and there were the stalwarts who lingered. Andy Warhol, Arthur Boyd and the like. There was a catch. Picture making then could be a career. A time before the plethora of new multimedia imagery decorated the neoliberal nonsense that bankrupted more than a few banks and discredited some big businesses and made fools of politicians. I know it was fun for some, but it failed to trickle down as promised. For many years I worked as an Australian regional artisan and therefore my artwork disappeared into the great wilderness of nowhere where it had begun. I made art as most artists do for themselves. No one important enough saw my paintings. They saw my hand built pottery and that was to be my identifying product, which was disappointing as I had made a good start in painting pictures. The reason I failed to maintain the work lay in my mental makeup, which would not be identified until too late. I was born with Asperger's syndrome, certainly genes inherited from my father, but well disguised through years of bullying and misunderstanding. My worst bullies wove their crazy making webs in the art world I worked through over 30 years. Some people join art groups because they love the idea it will add value to their lives. Some people join art groups for social engagement of people who are more cultured. Some people join art groups because they are useless and why not. However, some people join art groups because they can use crazy making tactics to grab power off others, use and abuse resources and make potential bids for self-aggrandizement to cover costs for a lifestyle they covet. Art for its own sake does not mean much to these people. They ruin groups, they ruin lives, and they ruin the future legacy for the art to continue. I have experienced all these people and it nearly killed me. Only after years away from my craft am I looking at other ways to make art. I suffer with intrusive thoughts of cruel actions that include stupid, nasty, smarmy comments from people who should have known better. There were so many crazy times to be endured. Irresponsible people given charge of important events. Power struggles over small awards and bitterness within groups over things that had nothing to do with art. Blatant misuse of my trust made it hurt to look at art materials. I just loved art, making art, and needed to be left alone. But my head was so cluttered with malice, your malice, intentional or stupid. I was all yours to take, but instead I taste the bile. Old wounds reopened by crazy makers for what? To prove me wrong, then demand I work for them. 
I worked hard for 30 years and my reward was not the heart attack that took my father, but a living broken heart that is trying to turn around the past. Even my mother had her killer brain tumour. Did you crazy makers see me coming? Was I easy sport? Was I that obvious? The sensitive artist is not a myth. It is why so many die of drink, drugs or suicide. I am rediscovering I am not a bad person and my paintbrushes are feeling hands again. I have the artistic gene in me and like autism I cannot grow out of it. I should have sued some of you. My refuge now is outsider art. Robert, thank you for listening.